Hey guys and welcome to my walkthrough of Star Trek A Final Unity pretty much my favourite game in the whole Trek franchise and that's an opinion that's shared by quite a few people I'm going to hold back on the narrative in this LP for the most part as much as I can and just let the game flow so with that let's get to it Captain's Log Supplemental. A Garidian warbird has violated the neutral zone in pursuit of a scout ship. The fugitives may be seeking political asylum, but as yet we have been unable to confirm their intentions. What do you think, number one? The Garidians respect strength. If we show any sign of weakness, it might just encourage them to fight. What do you suggest? Maybe we can use our phasers until they listen to reason. That may be too strong an action. Mr. Worf, lock phases onto the warbird, but hold your fire. Aye, sir. They are locking their disruptors on us. Mr. Worf, your analysis. The Garidian warbird is similar to the Romulan Dideradex class. It is less maneuverable than the Enterprise, but it has slightly more firepower. We'd both take a beating if it came down to a fight. Our records identify the warbird as the Asirum, commanded by Captain Pintara. Starfleet intelligence rates her as a capable but unimaginative tactician. Any insights, Counselor? The Garidian captain is torn about something, as if she were faced with a difficult dilemma. She has violated the neutral zone. It's more than that. I think she has a personal stake in this matter. Mr. Data, do you have any suggestions? As long as the Warbird maintains a tractor beam on the scout ship, we cannot beam its crew aboard. However, if we maneuvered the Enterprise between the ships, we could temporarily disrupt the tractor beam. We will have to drop our shields to use the transporter. We'll have to take that risk. Make it so. We have broken the Garidian's tractor beam. The crew of the scout ship has been beamed aboard. Captain, the warbird is hailing us. On screen. Federation starship, this is an internal Gridian matter. You've been warned not to interfere. Your presence here gives me every right to interfere. Why have you violated the neutral zone? Captain, you are harboring dangerous criminals. I demand that you transfer them to my custody immediately. Our Garidian guests were rescued in Federation space. Any extradition will have to proceed along normal diplomatic channels. You know that there is no formal extradition treaty between our governments. Captain, one of the criminals is my son, Avakar. Return them and I swear they will all receive a fair trial. I sympathize with your concern for your son, but that does not justify your violation of the neutral zone. You will leave Federation space at once. Very well. You have won this time, Captain. But I promise you, there will be a next time. The Warbird is heading back toward Geridian space. They are activating their cloaking device. Captain. Our new arrivals are requesting to speak with you. Their names are Lucana, Avakar, and Tabak. What are your orders, Captain? I should like to consider the situation a bit further. Well, since we've rescued them, let's have a chat with them now. Captain Picard, my name is Lucana. On behalf of the oppressed underclasses of Garrod, I'd like to thank you for rescuing us. Don't thank me too quickly. You have illegally entered Federation space, and this ship is not a haven for criminals. I am not a criminal, Captain. I am only seeking justice for my people. Very well. You may stay on board the Enterprise until we have sorted this matter out. Do not dismiss me so quickly, Captain. The fate of all Garrett is hanging in the balance. Why do you say that? I am searching for the Fifth Scroll. It's the only way to give the plebeians the freedom they deserve. Who are the plebeians? They are the underclasses of Garrett, forced by law to serve the patricians, their masters for the past 1,000 years. What is this fifth scroll you mentioned? I am a reformer, Captain. My role is 
bringing about social change. Tabak is the historian. He can explain such things much better. Why are you so interested in this fifth scroll? Finding the fifth scroll will free my people from tyranny because the scroll gives the rights to the plebeians, Garrett's lower classes. That's why the government doesn't dare let me succeed. I sympathize with your cause, but I must inform you that the Federation will not take sides in Garrett's domestic politics. I had heard that the Federation was a champion of freedom. Perhaps my sources were mistaken. Why is your own mother trying to kill you? She is only doing her duty. I know she doesn't want to kill me, but she is under orders to prevent Lucana from finding the Lawgiver's fifth scroll. What is this fifth scroll you mentioned? Tabak is our historian. I'm sure he can explain it to you much better than I can. Why are you so interested in this fifth scroll? Because I believe in Lucana's crusade. Even though I was born a patrician, Lucana has made me aware of the plebeian suffering. The fifth scroll would give them a more honorable place in Garidian society. I sympathize with your cause, but I must inform you that the Federation will not take sides in Garid's domestic politics. And we are not asking you to do so, Captain. When the time comes, we will fight that battle ourselves. Captain Picard, can you help us contact a Vulcan archaeologist named Shaynok? He may possibly hold the key to the discovery of the Lawgiver's fifth scroll. Who is the Lawgiver? His real name was Avatrunai, and he was the architect of Goridian society. His four scrolls became the cornerstone of our entire culture. What makes you think Shaynok can help you? My studies indicate that the followers ended up somewhere in what is now Federation space. But because our governments are not on friendly terms, I could never follow up on that research. But the Vulcan scholar Shaynok lives in the Federation and has made extensive studies of our history. I believe he may have vital information that will help us locate the followers. What is this fifth scroll you mentioned? Let me give you a bit of background. Caridian society is a rigid structure consisting of two distinct classes, the patricians and the plebeians. For the past 1,000 years, that structure has been governed by the laws derived from the four sacred scrolls. The first scroll outlines our code of honor, the second describes the relationship between the military and the government. The third defines the principles of Ordigen. And the fourth enumerates the privileges and the responsibilities of the patrician class. But you speak of another scroll. According to legend, the lawgiver also wrote a fifth scroll defining the rights and privileges of the plebeian class, which were not explained in the other scrolls. Why are you so interested in this fifth scroll? I am a scholar, Captain. My interest is purely academic. Lucana, on the other hand, is a social revolutionary. She hopes the scroll will inflame the underclasses to rebellion. How would an ancient scroll do her any good? The patrician stopped the lawgiver before he could reveal his fifth scroll. The lawgiver and a few of his disciples, known as the Followers, left Gerrit in five spaceships to start their own colony. No trace of them was ever found and the story gradually took on mythic proportions. The fifth scroll could be the greatest social discovery in Garrett's history. Even if you don't agree with Lucana's goals, I urge you to talk to Shaynok and help us find the scroll for science's sake. This could be an intriguing quest. I have decided to visit Shaynok and see whether he can help you regarding the fifth scroll. Thank you for agreeing to visit Shaynok, Captain. The fifth scroll could be the greatest social discovery in Garrett's history. Understood. We will be underway at once. I will let you know when we arrive. Mr. Worf, inform Starfleet that we will be assisting the Garidians in their search. Aye, sir. Computer, what are the current whereabouts of the Vulcan archaeologist Shaynok? According to Federation archaeological survey records, Shaynok is currently excavating ruins on the planet Horst 3. Set course for Horst 3, warp 5. Aye, sir. Engage. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll pick that up in part 2.